Whenever you see Laguna on a schedule for your year, whatever, you know, it's always going to be a highlight. It's always, and the track is one thing, but just being out here and everything else, it's, you know, it's the whole package uh, that makes it special. Everybody's in a big groove. We've actually been really, really busy. Uh, after Sebring, uh, we had not that long of a time to go to Long Beach, and then we tested here. So the teams have been flat out basically for the last two months. So after this, there's actually a big period to get the cars back to the shop and you know get everything kind of polished up a little bit and a time to breathe. Um, but everybody's in the groove right now because we've been at it for two months. One we'll put on for the early morning Sunday race. Okay. And then the set two will be the like our practice tires for Watkins. What car am I going to? <laughs> <laughs> This should be very obvious. Yeah, I'm just trying to throw this away. trying to sit on his lap? I'm not trying to do <laughs> that. Is that Gatorade? Of course. tents left on the table for sure we got stuck in some traffic at the end um, but you know at least I know that the time's there for the race and uh, see if we can put into practice tomorrow so heads up people going slow driving online and hitting you know the field up front's kind of mixed so both you and me are in a good spot for you watching uh, so what was it Dickinson, Thompson, Ben Burbo, you, Dimitri. So there could be a little something going on up there. Not a bad place. No, no. It just would have been great to... 30 minutes, you know, you think you'd... <laughs> <laughs> Find a gap. Yeah. We normally do, we usually have like one set of stickers and one set of scrubs, so we're doing stickers for race one since it's going to be warmer. Oh, they couldn't find an executive golf driver, golf cart for the drivers. They had to walk. Some a bit. We got some more crew guys though. There we go. Yeah, rest of the crew's here now. I mean, it's a perfect day to, to race. Got to sleep in a little bit, so feel a little bit uh, better rested than yesterday. And uh, just gotta see how this plays out. You know, it's a track I've never been to. Um, the front of the field is kind of mixed up from how it usually is, so I don't know, there might, something might happen. And uh, just knowing how close to push to that, or maybe just to back off, it's gonna be a tough call to make. Um, I'm just gonna try to be safe and keep the car clean, you know? 
guys overdo the brakes a little bit. Yeah, those are mostly for my own science project. Yeah. And you have no idea exactly what's going to happen. I like your Dead Mouse edition. <laughs> Bob's in here. Welcome back to Monterey and the Hyundai Monterey Motor Sports Car Championship. The Porsche safety car. Let's hope we don't have to see that again because beautiful as it is, we'd much rather see green flag racing for the next 40 minutes. Porsche Carrera Cup right, North America here, with a 10 race wheel at Gouda Race ready, 1, ready. 2022. Trent Neste puts his right foot to the firewall and goes through the green flag. Ahead of Riley Dickinson, Parker Thompson, Kai Van Berlo, Lee Keane, Dimitri Marcos coming down the outside as well. But it's a good start from everybody. but someone's gone off at the exit of turn number two and comes back on again is that is that it is you know it's Efren Castro isn't it that's yes. it is Efren Castro that distinctive colour scheme he's got damage to the right rear of that car exactly so there's another spin and this time DeMarcos. it's DeMarcos Dimitri DeMarcos in the black number 11 311 RS car now I think he's got his left rear Michelin still on on the harder part of the dirt on the outside of turn three. He was in a battle there with the hey, we, seven. We, let's get it started, get it started up here. Good to go, clear behind, clear behind. He got turned around there. Oh, that's yeah, not smart. That is not... Couple of the corner on the tires for a couple of corners, shake the dirt out. That catching you back up now is Dimitri DeMarcos in that black car, uh, car number 11. He had, the guy had the spin on the opening lap, trying to work his way back up through the field. Still outside the top 20, but uh, still doing the best he can. Yeah, he has... Gets off the final corner. It's a long run to the VP Racing Fuels checkered flag, but it is Parker Thompson who sees it first. Oh, yeah! Very good. That's pretty good. good. Solid, solid, yeah, right? good. Yeah. Yeah. Lap times are exactly the same as the leaders. Yeah. These guys no, got separated. Good. Yeah. I had a good start. Uh, Kai, thankfully, left me a little bit of a hole. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but it worked out for me, so yeah. it's okay. And, yeah. And then, yeah, with Riley the whole time. Yeah. A couple of places, I was a little bit better than him. Yeah. And then he was better than me more places than I was better than him, probably. Okay. Just started fading a little bit in the end. But yeah. Uh, it was good. The car was good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> definitely not too much oversteer in the end. Okay. Definitely a little bit pushy. So. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be. Um, it was still a little bit struggle with the front end. Yep. I could, it's easier to to watch the rear if I have like a little bit oversteer. It's easier to watch, watch the rear, the rear. than yeah, yeah. get stuck on. So the we could go a little creep a little bit more we up could, in the back. A little end. bit. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow morning in the cold, I'm suspecting we want to do something. Yeah, and those tires have been heat cycles, so maybe they won't have that in the beginning. Yeah. Then maybe they'll last a little bit longer towards the end. Yeah. So, yeah, Typically, I, yeah. I wouldn't be scared to, to do a little bit of that. All right, cool. You didn't want it to happen. I felt it was, I didn't feel it was risky, to be honest with you. I wasn't trying to take any risks. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe the outside will show differently, but from inside it felt fine to me. Uh, he'll, come, he'll probably come over. Okay. All right. The start was pretty eventful. Um, you know, there was a little bit of bumping and rubbing up in the first turn. Um, I lost a couple positions just off that. And then I was trying to make, make my way back up to fifth, sixth position. Um, the, the car ahead of me went wide, and it seemed to be a pretty clear pass in the, the exit of two. And uh, just, I guess he didn't want that to, to work out that way, so I got a little bit bumped on the exit, and it sent me around. You know, at that point, it, it, it was difficult to keep my head in the game, but I did my best to just get back on track and make back as many spots as I could. Um, I think we finished P15, so we might have, have gotten a little bit of points back. Uh, so it could have been a lot worse, but definitely not the result that we wanted. Awesome. All right, guys, just about for tomorrow. 
back strong? Yeah, uh, tomorrow we're going to start roughly around where I started today. I think I'm on the inside this time, which will be a little bit safer. And the goal is going to be first few laps, just hold on to that spot and then maybe try to chip away as the race goes on. Um, it's tough to say how the cars ahead are going to perform, uh, but that's, that's the goal. Then they're measuring to the deck, right? So the wheels on the scale pad, they're measuring from here. So I had them set it on the edge here and re-measure it. And it was close. Oh, you know, Mustawi got involved. Call, the tech guy literally, I think, was going to let us roll. Because he said he, he went, you know, he goes to put it in, like I said, it went in like this. And it stopped. He couldn't get it through. After the race, if you do well, which Lee did, P4, they tech your car automatically, which is normal. Um, we've had plenty of experiences with tech. Uh, this time, for any number of reasons, we didn't pass tech. Uh, in this case, left front corner on Lee's car, camber slipped in. Uh, we were still in, in spec for camber, but as a result of that camber slipping in, the front end lowered a little bit. And as you go into tech, you roll over um, this pad and there's a little scrubber. And our car was like, um, just, just, just scrub. So they're like, they looked at it, roll it back and forth a few times, and you, you, you lift it up, move the wheels around, and then roll it again to give it a chance to see maybe you hit rubber. Um, long story short, uh, the car was a half a millimeter low on ride height. So his fourth position, which I have to say he did a really good job getting, especially that first move, uh, that first step and move into turn one. Uh, was really all for naught, unfortunately. Nothing that any of us could have prepared for. Um, I know the guys who work on his car, Nico, Greg, uh, Cameron, Matt, Trevor, everybody was bumming out like it was their fault, but it's not. That's, you know, tech is tech, it's there to keep people in check. Usually for making sure they don't cheat. In our case, we obviously weren't trying to cheat, it was more or less just a, uh, we were running close to the limit and it, it, it didn't work out this time. He loves it because we give him just total creative freedom. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I was like, that's why you're here. Right. We love what you do. Like he delivers all the all the classics too, like the starts and all that. But yeah. like the ones of your gloves through the yeah. net. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah, it's fun going through his photos after a, a night. Greg on pit lane. Trevor doing a little bit of work. Blake pushing buttons. That's cool. Good shit. Starting grid for today. They had moved you to the back, but then they fixed it. Yeah, it was a mistake for some reason. Yeah. So I don't know why they did. Because it did. said your laps were uh, disallowed, but I was thinking to myself, you still had your uh, qualifying times, which were better. So why would it? Yeah, why would I don't that know. For some the reason, back? they thought since um, the tech failing tech yesterday, for some reason they thought that I would start in the back as well so but anyway they fixed it yeah so it went back yeah we talked to them and they're like oh yeah oops honest mistake no no pushback at all yeah what happened your camber got uh knocked a little bit out of us yeah the camera shifted and then you know so then that lowers the front left the front left camera shifted a little bit so then it lowers them i mean we were obviously you know right there pushing it but we went through tech right before the race, and we, we, we were good. So, just kind of, it stinks. Yeah. yeah, because it was a good race. Yeah. Because, you know, he's young, and so he just goes, ah, hole. Or he sees what he saw, which looks inviting. Because that guy's going boom, boom, boom on the 58. And they both go wide, and he's going like, oh, you know, he sees the hole. And he just goes. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Lights are out, just pack up and pair up, pack up and pair up. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Warship Comerica of North America presented by VisitKaymanIsland.com is at WeatherTech Base Bay, Laguna Sega, we are green. Riley Dickinson from pole position under extreme pressure from alongside on his right hand side brilliant outbreak of maneuver around the outside but the first two cars both drift wide but Parker Thompson but in avoidance and sort of reverses towards him but there was no contact between those two but Chironi one of the leading lights in pro-am winner yesterday he's gonna have a big big comeback drive and we're barely two minutes into this one Jeremy stuck behind that Fisher kid end of the top 10 that's what we've been seeing good battle going on between Dimitri Dimatos and the black number 11 had to have a real comeback drive after he was spun round by Michael McCarthy uh, yesterday ended up down in the late 20s finished uh, just outside the top 10 I think from memory at it than we will have side by side for that fifth position yeah Michael McCarthy goes from attack to defense because he loses a position to Lee Keen and he says thanks very much moves up into six behind TJ Fisher it was McCarthy and Fisher side by side through turn five killed their momentum there's going to be a touch at the top of the hill surely no somehow it is avoided by TJ and Lee Keen but these three battling didn't work out great so I got bumped around a little bit at the start moving back to six and then I was kind of stuck behind the car in front of me and then the car came up behind and passed me and then they were rolling I was just riding with them basically and kind of waiting for an opportunity kind of waiting for the tires to, for their tires to degrade a little bit um, that happened and then they started getting tangled up with each other so took advantage of that and then I moved up position and then um, I think the next lap was behind Fisher, who was in fifth, uh, and it got him into the corkscrew. So, yeah, so then I was able to kind of pull a little gap. They got kind of messed up behind me, and then I didn't really have anybody behind me after that. So it broke free. The four guys in front were long gone at that point. Um, so, yeah, it was nice to make a couple of good passes. Uh, I think it was good racing out there. I was around cars pretty much the whole time until the last... 10 minutes of the race so you know it was cool and Dimitri uh, Dimitri was kind of behind me and then he got through the two guys too so he finished sixth so you know, we, were, we were running seventh and eighth and then we were able to get back fifth and sixth so that's good. Keep the driver happy. Like I just assume you just program so it comes up to 27 and a half. 
Isn't that what new cars do? The gauges just go to half and stay there? A little bit of a mishap with uh, gridding up for the start, so I actually started on the outside instead of the inside, which wasn't optimal, but uh, I got a position, then I lost a position, then there was some battling going on, and a couple penalties got sent out, and we were able to make our way back to sixth. Uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. My goal for today was just to have a clean race and get some decent points. So we did exactly that. Lee finished right ahead of us. So I think for the team overall, it was a, a good second race.